It reminds me of like apple black currant juice boxes. That's what I said! <laughs> <laughs>。regular service has resumed. Back at it again. Blind wine tasting, and as always, the wines are from sometimes always.、Uh, so if you want a little cheeky discount on all the wines we tried today, jump on our Discord channel. Link is below, and we've got a little discount code for you. So if you want to grab any of these numbers that you might be interested in that we really liked, or maybe you just want to add morbid curiosity that there's something that we really didn't like and you want to give it a crack too, jump in, get the discount code, and we'll go from there. Anyways, let's taste some wine. I feel like we've got more than no. There's definitely six there. I'm hoping that these aren't super my dad's winey because、uh, I had a bit of a childish weekend, so I don't know how a big heavy red's going to go. Clearly a bit of a rich number. I feel like it's got some like kind of purpley highlights to it, but it's definitely dark and dense and ruby red. Ooh, cool, juicy, classic, fun, vibrant, and young.、Uh, this one is smelling young. That sounds wrong. Uh, it smells like expensive curtains. Like if you've ever been to like a house that's got a designated dining room, it's not just like a table in the kitchen, a designated dining room. The sort of drapes that they would have on the wall. Bit bit oaky as well. A bit of new oak, I reckon. It's got that kind of buttery, almost like margarini smell. There's nothing in the way between you actually uh, uh, enjoying it and drinking it. I guess you know it entering your mouth and you swallowing it, and that's why it's sort of gone so quickly. The wine making has been impeccable here. Pretty neutral red wine. It's got some good structure. It's got some good acid. Tannin's nice. There's a bit of fruitiness. There's definitely some integration of oak. That's probably a bit over the top for me. I'd like it to be in the thirty dollar range.、Uh, I'm gonna go with forty five. Forty five dollars for that one. But really great way to start out. Dos. Definitely moving up a shade. This one looks a little bit more、uh, translucent as opposed to opaque. A little bit closed, a little bit muted. That's not necessarily a bad thing. It could just be a wine that's for drinking and not thinking. It's like corduroy. It's got these like ruffles in it. Like there's ruffles all across your tongue. Like really fine corduroy. Acidity is really cool too. And I reckon this has just got these awesome like kind of red brambly little fruits that are really quite interesting and exciting. Definitely soft and fruity,、uh, but then with a nice little kick of acid on the、uh, back palate. A little bit of tannin in it as well. Sort of like sour cherry.、Uh, this is one you'd probably want to treat relatively seriously, even though it feels a bit like a light, refreshing, swappable wine. If you decanted this or opened this a few hours earlier before you're intending to drink it, I think you'd actually serve yourself really well. This is、uh, summer slurper defined. Going to be dropping twenty eight dollars, and I'm going to grab twelve. I'm just in the mood. In the mood. <laughs> All right, wine number three. A little bit blacker in colour this time around.、Uh, could be a sign of some age. I don't know. Maybe could it? Yeah. Why not? Could indicate a bit of ageing. Could indicate maybe an interesting variety as well.、Uh, mushroomy, leathery, earthy, brown, dried leaf character.、Um, this could be some really cool shit. All right, so this is like my dad's wine, except it's the ones that I have where he'll give it to me, and I'll go, "Oh, it's actually not bad for a dad's wine." It could be some kind of Australian Nebbiolo or some description like that, or in that ballpark. But yeah, that smoky, like it's like hickory smoked leather, is the the main kind of flavour that comes through here. Contrary to wine number two, wine number three is,、uh, I believe, baller level. Pinot of potentially a very high order. There, there. This has all the indicating aspects. It even has like quite a, a rich tannin profile. Fans out across the palate. I'm going to say it's a 2018 Syrah. It's very savoury, a little bit spicy, a little bit of tannin as well. But none of it is overpowering. None of it is really grabbing you by the throat and saying, "We're going this way." I'm a heavy, spicy red wine, or I'm going to make it feel like you're licking a cat. It's just like all of these nice little notes of the things that some red wines for me overdo. But it's doing it really nicely with this one. That may end up being one of my sort of wines of the year so far.、Uh, that's just taken me by surprise, and it's. First tasting of the day, isn't it, Lockie? Having a good one. Number four. I'm not really getting too much, to be honest. You know, there's a bit of perfumey, perfumey like purple vibes, but <clears throat> juicy, juby, luscious. You know, cranberry、um, uh, and blueberry sort of jumping out of the glass. So we've got this sort of bubblegum effect, but it has like a savouriness to it. So when this sort of tends to happen, I tend to sort of my mind jumps to gamay. Yeah, again, just comparing it to going back to wine number three that has just a little bit more like character to the colour. It's a little bit browner. This is、uh, looking younger again. Could be like Sangiovese. Reminds me a bit of Sangiovese. It's got that kind of blue fruited. Aspect to it, or maybe it's got some. Might be Slovenian oak. Absolutely defined as 
medium. This is Goldilocks level of acidity. It makes it really, really fun to drink. Shit, man, I'm buying a lot of wine. Quiet on the nose, electric on the palate. Like that just goes whooshka. It's like this, like some big kaleidoscope has just opened up on your tongue. Yeah, that's so good. What are you? Really light, really soft in uh, flavor profile, uh, especially coming off the back of number three, which is one of the bigger reds that we've had so far today. This is a breath of fresh air after that. Wow. All right, number five. A little bit darker, a little bit denser. Racy red berries, racy red bullets. That's, that's what I reckon we've got on, in here. Yeah, on the nose, it's just really, uh, really light, like really um, understated in terms of the uh, scent that we're getting off this. That's not what I expected that smell like at all. This is way more um, bright and fragrant than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be a bit more of, uh, you know, heading back down towards these guys down here that were a bit darker and heavier and richer. Carbonic maceration for sure. Bubble gum, blueberry bubble gum, and you know, grape bubble gum. Although this is this is fun. This is gonna rate pretty highly in my books. Intriguing, intriguing. Oh, I would love to have a stab at variety. I do like getting it right in front of the boys. I mean, it's got to be something. Good little wine. It's got that yogurty kind of yogurty fruit thing. Um, but overall. Good little swapper, three bottles for me. Get it in, get it out, off we go, and then we'll move on to something a little bit more exciting. Last, and by the looks of it, certainly not least, is a very light little red. Looks almost like rosé, or tarbell, or something like that. Smells like fucking tarbell. This is just like pure juice. This is like, like apple, like currant juice. But I think this is that sort of Southern French style, richer, Syrah dominant. Uh, rosé. <laughs> what the fuck is that? What? Thought you were gonna smell like strawberries and cream. You don't. You smell really fl uh, like flat comparatively to what I thought it was gonna smell like. I thought it was gonna be really like, ooh. Wild, like wild raspberries and strawberries and all of those kind of amazing like fresh red fruits. Lovely tannin structure too, like nice and green and bunchy and yeah, again, this, there's only one word to describe this and it's just fresh. Yeah, this is like, let's sit down, talk about how great we all are and come up with podcast ideas wine. And despite not smelling like it, it definitely is executable. Like, it's a really great example. It's a really great wine. It's, it's smashing drinking. Uh, I, I would have no hesitation with, with um, dropping at six bottles of this and I would probably expect this to run me up around about 30 bucks. I would knock it back for sure. In fact, I'd, I'd jump at this. It's juicy, it's fun, it's vibrant. And I think it's the next story of rosé. Good stuff. Uh, let's get the boys in here and have a chat and see if how much we bought and how much money that we need to make up and who's getting a second job. Sick. What did we think of these red wines? Full full red lineup to start the day. I know I bought a lot of wine. Yeah, I bought a heap. I was worried that they were all gonna be uh, like my dad's wines, but there was only one of them that was going that way. And even mm. still that one was a, it was a dad's wine for the people. <laughs> First wine, uh, for me, probably the most unexciting of the bunch. It was pretty neutral and uh, kind of n just flat for me. I wasn't too stoked on it. Wine and light up for me. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I, I was expecting. Wine. I was expecting you to say that was your dad's wine. Nah. That, that's nah, the one nah, I nah, nah, We're coming to that later on. Oh. Lachlan, what is it? I oh. said thirty bucks. It's yeah. forty-five. It's... I'm going fifty. So. Uh, I'm gonna have some spare change. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how much more wine I you think you will. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 how cool! <laughs> Was that is so not what I have ever expected from this producer. Yeah, legit. This is like this is like, so that would imply that this wine is also no sulfur. Yeah, zero. Like that's biodynamic of the highest order. Potent, like that struck me as almost Yangara like. Yeah, sort of you know, with die-hard uh, winemaking teams behind it, really obsessing over it. Like I said, ragtag team, potentially, that just really obsesses over winemaking, but not what I would have considered a million years. Exactly, this is a dude that knows his shit better than most and has been doing it for wow. a damn long time and knows how to fucking do it. That's some, probably the biggest surprise I've seen on the show so far. Yeah, not, not, haven't had a surprise like that in a while. Number two, this was fun. A uh, nice little Italian it, like juicy structured, racy red berries, good little tannin thing. I was into it, Italian it something. Pretty keen to see what it looks like. No, what is it? 36 bucks, great. That's, uh, was that in the ballpark? Yeah, I thought it was gonna be 45 or something like that. Beautiful, yeah. Uh, Pinot maybe? 
Oh, and this is um, this is uh, Tazzy. Uh, this is uh, no sulfur. This is Stony Rise. Uh, so Joe Holyman, uh, Pinot Noir, no clothes, no SO2. Again, wow, more Navi. Would never, would never uh, call this a no SO2 wine. It just in, from all the no SO2 wines I've tried, this is amazing. Yeah, this is pure and crisp and vibrant and fresh. <laughs> Number three, uh, this one was pretty freaking serious. This is serious. This yeah, stopped this, me in my tracks. This was dad's. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. If, I if think this so. Is your dad's wine. I, I want to go to his place. Yeah, this is what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> What's behind the candelabra here, Lockie? What do we got? 59. Oh, I said 60, so woof. you're on it. Good job. Go. On it. No, that's from no. France. That's from Alsace. That's from Alsace. That's from Marcel Dice. We've had his wines in, on this yeah. show before. Is that? That's um. Ooh. So this would be Pinot. This would have to be Pinot. Um. Uh. Yeah, because it's it's Alsace. It's just literally up the road a little bit. Hop, skip, and a jump from Burgundy. You said Comic Sans really. on the label always indicates indicates quality. Yeah, what's going on there? Good old Comic Sans. Number four. Uh, this was wine of the lineup. Yeah, another banger. Sure. This, this is was, another total banger. This was total red, banger. red hot. Like, amazing kind of like just bouquet and like kaleidoscope of fruit colors. It's, like it's fucking red awesome. fruited. Lights up the room. It's incredible. 12 bottles for me. 12 bottles for me. 12 bottles for Sclaims. Yes! Yes! <laughs> we uh, did it. Three feet. 40 bucks. Uh, 40 bucks. 30 bucks. Lachlan. How much? 20 what? fucking dollars. Are you serious? Yes. What is that? It's a peanut. What is it? Really? Yeah. No $20. way. Twenty dollars. What a fringe wine. society. Fringe society. Mushrooms. It's a pay dock. <laughs> so it's like from like essentially uh, the the part of France that is largely declassified wine, um, <laughs> coming out of fucking nowhere. That is sick. That's what? insane. What? That's the biggest surprise what? than the first thing being natty. Oh my god, this is like just buy a dozen shit for twenty bucks. Give buy, me two. Buy what three. year is that? Is that? 2021. 2020. 2020. It's so probably the best thing to come out of 2020. <laughs> I mean, a, a value, an absolute bargain. <laughs> That's Holy incredible. Shit. Yeah. I would go as far to say best value red that we've seen on the show. Uh, I, I completely agree. That's just got something way more. Are you sure that's 20 bucks? This is. I want to learn more about these guys because that's fringe society. That's killer. It's going to be on the summertime playlist. Legit. This is going to be hell yeah. yeah. Number five. Uh, I thought this was a fun little uh, Cab Mackey little Beaujolais style number. What do we got? Twenty five dollars. Another. Jeez. More. I think that might oh throw Gamay at the window. Oh, yeah, no. Twenty five dollar Gamay for a while. Yeah, unless like they celebrated Beaujolais Nova and grabbed a whole bunch, but could be Beaujolais Nova. No, Sergio. Dude, ah. it's Canty. Hello. That's Canty. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barbo. Uh, so Barbo was actually an Australian, uh, an Australian winemaker. That's actually, uh, you know, Barbo's been around yeah. for quite a while. Uh, and he's gone over. Uh, Justin Bub is his name, um, and he's gone over and uh, started up making sort of wine in Italy with him and his wife. And yeah, um, funnest and brightest county I've had in a long like ever actually. Yeah, because like, usually they're pretty savory. Like really yeah. rich, extracted, oaky. Yeah, um, you need to sell them for a long time. So this is, I think, this is good to have in like the Chianti range of like you know party Chianti and then some like serious Chianti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, yeah. This is this is an Alfa Romeo of a Chianti. It's like a little bit of fun, a little bit of energy. But it's not the Ferrari. But it's not the Ferrari. No. Nah. It's great. Nice. Uh, and then lastly... Talk about a party. The, uh, I, you know what? The only thing I wrote down was uh, yum. <laughs> uh, because it's like a rosé, like Sanye, Tarvel style rosé yeah. that you just want to destroy. Tell us, what is this yummy beverage, Lachlan? Oh, right oh, in right there, on right in the slot on it. Oh, here we go. What have we got here? Oh, sick. This is awesome. This is fucking really cool. So, um, Little Ready, a uh, killer wine brand out of Victoria. Yeah. Uh, Pat Underwood, uh, like, you know, amazing winemaker. Uh, this is uh, Nebbiolo Super Juice. So this is cool. Nebb this is Neb Nebbiolo. Cool. Uh, I think there might be a, a, li a little bit of um, Rafosco. Okay. Yeah, so he makes some Australian yep. Rafosco. Um, and yeah, really good fun, great value, um, and awesome winemaker. And a uh, Sonic Youth inspired label, so I'm all about that shit. Um, yeah, this is this is fun. The more Nebbiolo I drink, the less I understand what Nebbiolo is. Like, <laughs> in my head, tell me about like, it, bro. Because it's like <laughs> it's like this chewy, spicy Italian red grape variety, right? And then I have this, and I'm like, 
It's the opposite of what I just described. Like this is sour, not spicy. It's not chewy. It's lean. Yes, yeah. there is some absolute highway robber robbery available. That's a huge winner. That's, That's massive. That's insane. That's like massive. That, that little red is dirt. Like all of them, but super cool. Like that. That's such a Shit. fascinating lineup. And like complete. Yeah. Like conceptions have been changed. Like. No sulfur looking as clean as a whistle. Uh, Chianti in a convertible, like all of that kind of shit. You that was sick. Use the discount code sometimes always. You're getting a dozen of these for around the $200 mark. That's insane. <laughs> Get in quick is my absolute recommendation. Cool. And until next time. Ciao, we'll be here. <laughs>